sure. stores in Ontario might be closed for the family day holiday, but Truck you can always go started. online with a coffee and your slippers on the Here oven and make the purchase. Ontario. But my next guest hey. says we're at a tipping point when it comes to online shopping. The retailers just might pull back on it. Bruce stores in Ontario might be closed for the family day holiday, as I was saying. Our next guest is saying that there's this tipping point. Retailers may pull back. Bruce Winder, he is a co-founder of the Retail so Advisors hazy. Network, and we've reached him in Toronto. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, thanks. Tipping point. What do you mean by that? Well, what I mean is actually um, retailers won't be pulling back on online, but they're going to have to change the way they manage online. So when I say tipping point, what I mean is that the Canadian economy, specifically Ontario, um, as we're talking oh. about today, is at a point now where online sales have grown to a point where traditional brick and mortar retailers can't ignore it anymore. So um, you, one could argue that a number of Canadian retailers sort of have backing up the, out the of the truck, I mean, out of the driveway. Really didn't offer, you know, frozen online or really good. Have to put my four by four on. Capabilities. But now everyone has woken up and said, this is coming, whether we like it or not. And we better start to get our A game on in terms of having the best online offering we can. What are their challenges in doing that? Well, the biggest challenge is profitability um, because it is very difficult to make money, to make a decent uh, margin on online sales if you're a traditional brick and mortar stores. Um, you have to facilitate sort of a different shipping experience, have a different supply chain background, supply chain infrastructure than your traditional brick and mortar infrastructure. And, you know, depending on the 40. deal, so to speak, in terms of free shipping or partially paid shipping, um, it just costs a lot more money to send that product to what they call the last mile to get it to people's homes or places of work, etc. So the economics are very different. In addition, one of the big issues is the return rate. So if you look at well, online sales up, overall, uh, the return rate is about triple what you would get at brick and mortar stores. So call it 30% versus 10%. That is not sustainable. That is not affordable to for companies by four, by four to, to back up. offering. How much does that, that cost cold? companies? We don't have specific numbers, but it's going to cost Minus a lot of money. 40. It's going to chew up a good chunk of that gross margin, right? Because let's face it, gross margins are not that high 